Hello and welcome back to another video. These are the new Old Man Emu coils for my Red Land Cruiser. Part number is 2862. A lot of people call it 2862 and then a lot of people just call it 862. So these are the stock replacements. So that means that they are the stock size for the 80 series Land Cruiser. But it's supposed to be better because, you know, it's a bit more stiffer, uh, provides better ride quality. And the reason why I went with these guys is because when I bought my red Toyota Land Cruiser, this one right here, it already came with Old Man Emu coils stock height on the front. But on the rear, it still had the original Toyota ones and it's all rusted out already. So I decided to just upgrade it upgrade the rear coils <laughs> and if you upgrade the rear coils <clears throat> you don't need to get like replacement shocks i already have brand new shocks already i installed that early this month you guys remember or last month <clears throat> but i just want to show you guys what it looks like <clears throat> i got these off of four wheel parts it ran about 227 and the thing is that uh, my buddy was out in vegas for the weekend so i bought it through four wheel parts in Vegas and then I had him pick it up in Vegas while he was there and then he brought it back in his suitcase so that's the reason why we don't have a box to show you guys because he took out took it out of the box and threw it in his suitcase and he just checked it in so that really helped me on shipping um, because it would have costed me like another 130 bucks to ship it if I was to order it through directly from the store <coughs> so let me show you guys what it looks like uh, first and foremost they are <coughs> Uh, the two springs even though they look very similar one is slightly taller and the one that's slightly taller goes on the driver's side so let me show you guys the difference so if i put this tape measure right in here and we measure right here where the coil ends you can see that it's probably 18 and a half but on this coil right here let me get you in there this one is a true 18 so just a half inch taller so the one that's a bit taller that goes on the driver's side the reason why it goes on the driver's side because usually the driver is a bit more heavier and also you have the gas tank on the driver's side for the 80 series and for this setup here old man emu they have the label and it's labeled as the driver's side is newly labeled uh, where are you at b you guys can see right there so coil b is usually the driver's side or the left hand side and then coil a coil a right here old man emu 862 this is coil a is usually the right hand side also known as the passenger side in the USA. If you're a right-hand drive car, then this will be a right-hand drive, and this will be on your left side. So hopefully that makes sense. So make sure when you guys are installing your coils, your rear coils, make sure you check that out. And also you can always verify that by taking out your old coils, and then usually your driver's side coil is slightly taller. You can't, you can, you can't really tell the difference, but if you measure it, if you measure it you can sleep just a little bit and you guys can see here it was only half an inch so um just wanted to showcase the old man emu 862 these are the stock replacement for 80 series land cruiser we're gonna go ahead and get this installed probably sometime next week and i'll give you guys a feedback of how it feels of any ride quality difference and go from there hope you guys enjoy if you guys got any questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time follow the instagram nutty new underscore four by four